Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The body of nine-year-old was found with its throat allegedly slashed on Thursday morning, hours after a carjacking incident in St. James. Latest police figures show that 11 persons were murdered over the 24-hour period up to Thursday morning, pushing the national figure to 59. That's almost 30% more than for the similar period in 2021. A government commission has named Glenmuir High in Clarendon as Jamaica's best performing school, with Woolmers High for Girls and St. Jago completing the top three based on a new ranking. The commission says schools should be assessed not just using exam passes, but also through a value-added component that looks at how schools contributed to the students' performance. Dintel Technical, Denby High and Edwin Allen were named the best non-traditional schools. Jamaica Labour Party councillor for the Trafalgar Division in St. Andrew, Carrie Douglas, is to stand a trial on March 4 on allegations of assaulting and obstructing a police officer during an operation to enforce COVID protocols. The rescheduled date was announced Thursday. Bail was also extended from Ms. Douglas to March 4. Auditor General Pamela Monroe Ellis has raised concerns about the inclusion of an unapproved termination clause in the five year contract of embattled CEO of the Firearm Licensing Authority, Shane Dalling. She says the clause, which stipulates that if the FLA terminates the contract before the end of the five years, Mr. Dalling could get up to two and a half years' worth of his gross salary, as well as a prorated gratuity, was not approved by the Finance Ministry. In sports, legendary former West Indies captain Clive Lloyd is now Sir Clive after receiving a knighthood from the British royal family. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.82, the British pound sterling for $214.16, and the Canadian dollar for $124.75. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across hilly areas and eastern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.